Hello everybody, it's Mr Cartwright here. Hope you're all staying safe and well. So in this video I thought we could work together at making our own band using some coding in Scratch. So when you click on instruments, just like this, you'll hear the sounds of the instruments. So I have my drums, I have my cymbals, and I have my singer with a guitar. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at making this together. So when we first go into Scratch, we're going to have a screen that looks something like this. Now on our left, we have our code blocks. In the middle is where our code is going to go. And on our right are the things we're going to see in our different objects. So what we're going to do first of all, because we don't need him for our band, we're going to delete our cat by pressing this little bin icon at the top right of our cat sprite. So we just gotta press it and he'll disappear. And if we go to the bottom, you can see our choose a sprite. We're going to click that button and we're going to go for music. And I'm going to start with my drums. I'm gonna put them in the middle for now. And we're gonna have a work on our coding. Now, for our coding to work, we need to add an event. So we're gonna start with an event and when this sprite clicked, it will be the third one down. What that means is every time I press on my drums, whatever I put after this is going to happen. I'm then going to move over to my sound because now we want it to play the sound that the drum's going to make. And we want it to play it until it is finished. So I'm going to press play sound, low tom, until done. And I'm going to drag it over and place it underneath. Make sure that you see shadow of the block underneath that way we know it's connecting now I'm going to try pressing my drum to see if it works so let's find out so I can hear my drum make a sound so I know it's working and every time I press it now I'm going to hear the sound of my drum play next we're going to add another instrument so again we click on our choose a sprite icon and music and I'm going to add next my symbol. I'm going to put it next to my drums and again we want an event. We want when this sprite clicked so every time we press it something's going to happen and we want to go to sound and play sound until done. So now if I press on it it should play the roll symbol sound which it does fantastic. Now I'm going to try adding my singer, so I'm going to click choose a sprite, I'm going to go to my music again, and right at the bottom you should see your singer. If you press on her, it will add her into the screen as well. I'm going to move her over here. I'm then going to go to my events again, when this sprite clicked, and again that means that every time we press on her now, it's going to play the sound that we drag next. We then drag sound over, so we move our block over and we have play sound pop until done. Now, we're not going to want it to play a pop sound every time we cl click on our singer. It doesn't really sound like part of our band. So, if you look up here, you should see our code, costumes, and we want to press on sounds. We can then add a sound by pressing on our choose a sound icon at the bottom. And if we go for voice, and you should be able to find singer. That's the one I'm going to use for my singer. You might want to use another sound, like maybe singer two. Or maybe yours might sneeze while she's on the stage. Two. I'm going to go for single one and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my code and I'm going to change it from pop to single one by pressing where it says pop in the middle so I'll play sound pop and I'm going to change that so it says single one and every time I press on my singer now she's going to sing for me now it looks a little boring with our band against a white background, there's nothing happening. 
So what we can do is we can go to our backdrops and we can select choose a backdrop. I'm going to press on music because I want to keep everything with a musical theme. You might want to have your band in space, that's fine. I'm going to press concert and now I can move my screen so it looks as if they're on the stage. To finish my band, I'm going to give my singer a guitar. So again, I'm going to move to choose a sprite. I'm going to press on music. And I'm going to pick a guitar. I'm going to drag it over to my singer so it looks like she's holding it. And that doesn't look quite right, does it? So I'm going to press costumes. And then, because it already selects with our arrow, I'm just going to drag a rectangle all over my guitar and then I'm just going to turn it slightly using the icon at the bottom so you should see it two slightly bent arrows that we can use to rotate our guitar and if you look in our preview now it looks more like she's actually holding her guitar I'm going to go back to my code by pressing back in my code button and again we want our event to be when our sprite is clicked. Now when our sprite's clicked, we want it to play the sound of the guitar, which it already will do. We want to drag over play sound C2 guitar until done. So that is playing the second C chord for the guitar. If we press on it, we can actually change which one it plays to be a C chord, a B chord, a D, an E, an F chord, lots of different chords to choose from. So I might change mine to a D chord. Now when I press my guitar, it plays a D chord for me. And that is how we make our band. Now every time we press on any of our instruments or our singer, it's going to play the sound for us and we can combine them to play different sounds. And that's how you have a go at making a band of your own. So I hope you've enjoyed that everyone. I hope you've all given it a go and don't be afraid to mess around with some of the different code. You might have it, so that yours play lots of different sounds, which is fine. You can press on them and mess around and find out exactly what sounds you can get each of the instruments to make. So I hope you've had fun and I hope you're all staying safe and I hope to see you all soon.